Hi folks, my name's Fred. Welcome to my channel. Today I have something a bit different. I needed to help a friend set up and machine the Governor Eccentric for an R.E. Shelley third scale, five of a third scale of a five horsepower Galloway hit and miss. Uh, it's a project he's been working on for quite some time and setup and machining of the eccentric was something that uh, he needed assistance with. Here's the location of the, the eccentric. It's uh, attached to a flywheel. The eccentric is exactly that in that when the flywheel spins, the mass moves the eccentric out, which sets in motion a number of operation, a number of movements for the uh, exhaust valve. It's a very organic looking piece, and it was setup was a real challenge. Started off with uh, a drum sander in my drill press, and I basically by hand took off the draft on the inside and the outside of the part to get it squared up. I then built a, a fixture plate, small fixture plate for my rotary table. This is the top of it. The piece, uh, the, the casting all set to be attached to it. And I created a small pattern so that I had a reference. This is the bottom of the the fixture plate that goes into the rotary table. It was held by the, the three jaw chuck on the rotary table. Here's part of the setup of the casting on the rotary table. Here I'm using a, a pair of uh, uh, calipers to lay out exactly the arcs I needed to set up so that I could machine it. Here's part of the machining process. Here we are partway through the second operation, elimination of a lot of the, the casting on the thinner piece. Now this is the, the part that really took the time. The blue area with the arc on it, that's the edge of a 45 degree ramp that had to be cut into it. And I'll uh, sh show that in detail in, in a couple of slides used a little machinist jack, a little homemade machinist jack, just to hold that arm to keep it from wobbling when, uh, or har going into harmonics when I machined it. Another view, sorry about the focus, my camera stinks at close-ups. Here I'm using a 45 degree, the end of a 45 degree uh, end mill to machine that ramp. Here's the finished piece. The little rectangular piece in the middle is a piece of rawhide that's used for lubrication and dampening sound of the thing clacking when it's in operation. Here's another view. Again, very organic, a lot of hand, a lot of hand work on this. And we had to set up the flywheel, set it in a big parallels, set of parallels, and then we spotted and bored a, a hole for a 1032 bolt, setting up the tap, starting to tap, finishing it by hand. It was extremely important that this, this hole be dead straight and true with the bore of the flywheel. Here's the shoulder bolt that was created per the drawing. Had a, a relatively large head because that was what you know the drawings called for. Looks good when it's finished. And here we are with it installed on the flywheel and it's doing its thing. And you can see the 45 degree. As I pull out the, the eccentric, that would be thrown out as the, the flywheel spins up. 
It's got a couple of springs that are attached to it. And it actuates some other parts that are that help control the exhaust valve. Well, I hope you found this interesting um, and useful if you're machining such a thing. I just thought I'd share. Have a good day. And thanks a lot for watching. Do appreciate it.